so hello guys in this video we are going to see how to repair your mouse by your own hands so if your mouse is scrolling improperly like the one which i am showing in my screen then you can do follow the steps what i am showing now in order to get your mouse repaired so the first step what we are going to do is just go to control panel and go to view hardware and devices and just go to your mouse and just right click on the basic optical mouse because i am having a basic optical mouse from microsoft and i am going to right click and i am going to go to mouse settings and the laptop what i am using is lenovo so just go ahead and click the wheel icon and once the wheel icon appears then go to its settings and you can see both scrolling say vertical scrolling and horizontal scrolling just go to vertical scrolling and it will display that number of lines skip when you scroll it once is 3 so just go ahead and try that with 2 or 1 so that you can see which one suits you the best and you can go with that and step number 2 is just go ahead to the same control panel and same mouse settings and you can find that if your mouse is a large tech or if you are, if you are using a microsoft mouse then they will give a microsoft keyboard and mouse center and with that software also you can go and tweak the settings and you can change to whatever scrolling settings you want so just go ahead and download the software if you are not having them just download microsoft keyboard and mouse center or if you are having logitech then just go ahead to logitech website and go to support downloads and just download it and just open it up and you can see a left click right click and a wheel button and a middle button so you can just tweak the settings by either having left click or right click or vice versa so just go ahead to the wheel and in this setting you can see a mouse wheel scrolling sensitivity and below there is one option called a mouse wheel acceleration just switch that off and you can just give the value uh, it usually remains in 5 you can tweak the settings to 4 3 2 or 1 and just you could find whichever setting suits you the best because it varies from system to system and the best way to find the solution for this is you can do a trial and error method and with this trial and error method you can find the correct solution by trying two to three times tweaking the settings so if these two settings are not working for you then you may have you may go to the third thing the third setting is the way of disassembling the mouse so disassembling the mouse will not cover the warranty of it so just go ahead and do it at your own risk and just do the correct step what i am doing so below the mouse you can find a sticker and just slowly remove the sticker If you don't want to uh, screw your warranty, just don't tear it up. Just slowly peel off the sticker and place it somewhere else so that after uh, repairing our mouse, you can stick that back into it. Just go ahead and remove, peel that off, and you can find a hole in it and you can find a screw inside it. So, what we have to do is we have to remove the screws. Is for the stickers, just place the sticker and take the screwdriver toolkit and just take the correct sh star shaped screwdriver which matches the mouse base and just with your hands do not put much pressure on that just gently rotate and gently remove the screw from it after removing the screw the main part is taking the mouse and 
splitting it into two parts. Remember, all the parts inside the mouth are very very fragile, so handle them with care. Just I'm just going to do that uh, inside the mouth. Near the mouth will there are so much dust particles to contain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a tissue paper, a uh, uh, microfiber cloth, and I'm going to just wipe that off so that we can make the wheel and make the sensor contact much more smoother. So if dust particles are present in between the sensor and the rotating wheel, then you will probably make some error when you are scrolling. So just I'm going to remove the dust and double check whether, whether all the dust in and outside of the wheel are completely gone. So just place back the mouse again and screw it back. Just the magic of editing. I'm not showing that to you. Just close your mouse and just make sure that your left click and right click are working fine because if you screw the mouse then you may have the possibility of pushing either a left click or right click so hard. So just before screwing it up, check whether your left click and right click are working fine and place the sticker which you peeled off just like that and that's it you have repaired your own mouse and if this problem continues to be it then just throw your mouse away because you have tried out, tried out everything just go ahead invest invest a good amount of money in buying a new mouse so that's it for this video if you find this video very useful then you go ahead hit the like button and share my video with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and feel free to comment below because your suggestions are more important to improve this channel and i'll see you soon in the next one until then it's bye from jk signing off thank you